For all the latest in the 2018 elections, stay tuned to the Sierra Leone Broadcasting Corporation. It's called SLBC. This is the official broadcasting house for Sierra Leone. Thank you very much for tuning to the Sierra Leone Broadcasting Corporation. As you are aware, Sierra Leoneans will be heading to the polls on 7th March 2018. They will be casting their ballots for a new president, a new mayor, new members of parliament and new councillors. Someone has been at the helm of affairs of the Republic of Sierra Leone for the past 10 years. Dr. Anes Baikuruma has been the president of Sierra Leone since 2007. He is getting ready to hand over the baton to the one who emerges winner of the 2018 elections. It is on that note that he is set to broadcast to the nation, especially to those who will be heading to the polls on 7th March. Ladies and gentlemen, His Excellency the President. Fellow Sierra Leoneans, tomorrow, 7th March 2018, we are once again going to the pools to vote for our compatriots whom we believe are capable to continue with the onerous task of building our nation. As we go to the pools, I entreat all Sierra Leoneans to be mindful of our collective responsibility to consolidate and build on the gains we have made together over the years. Since 1996, when we embarked on this democratic journey, we have worked so hard, made enormous strides, and earned so much respect that there can be no turning back. The peace of this country is indeed in our hands, and it is only possible to keep the peace when we put Sierra Leone above all else. My call to all political parties, leaders, and the electorate at large is to responsibly perform your civic right to vote in an atmosphere of peace and non-violence firmly resolving to take Sierra Leone to the next level where we will be counted amongst the most democratic countries in our continent. This places a special obligation on our political leaders to play by the rules, to set the right and the brightest examples, and to avoid any actions, utterances, or in actions that will threaten our hard and peace. Elections are not and should not be a do or die affair. Elections will come and go, but Sierra Leone will remain. Ultimately, the objective of coming forward for elective position is to serve in order to improve the lives of our compatriots, not to put them in harm's way. Every one of us must therefore be guided by the fact that there is only one Sierra Leone, and that in the end, only one person will be president at any given time. At the end of this democratic process, our new president, 
regardless of his political affiliation, is expected to dispassionately pursue development of the nation from Freetown to Boedu and from Senkunia to Sulema, thus cementing national unity for a brighter and more prosperous Sierra Leone. Fellow Sierra Leoneans, I have said repeatedly that the March 7th elections will be free, fair, and credible, and that I will graciously hand over power to the next democratically elected president in a very peaceful transition. This is both a promise and a commitment, and I remain very uncompromising about this commitment to our democratic process. In the same vein, let me urge all political leaders and presidential candidates to uphold the peace by following due process. The election management bodies, the judiciary, and the security forces have a national responsibility not only to upholding the peace, but more importantly, to ensuring fairness before, during, and after elections. We must be conscious of the fact that these elections are not about any individual. They are not about any single political party. They are about the peace, unity, and stability, and sustainable development of our beloved nation. In unity, we have in the past fought difficult battles and won them. In unity, we have come this far, but this unity of purpose is now on the line. Our 22 years of democratic development is now on the line. The growth of African democracy is also on the line. And the burden is on all of us to prove that Sierra Leone has indeed moved on to a new era of political tolerance, of peaceful democratic elections, and of peaceful political transition. The world will judge our democratic maturity by our ability to abide by the rules and resolve any differences if they occur through the appropriate democratic mechanisms. That is the pledge we must make, putting Sierra Leone above all else by jealously guiding the enviable accolades of being among the countries in Africa where democracy has taken root and for being the most tolerant and peaceful country in West Africa. These are achievements we should not take lightly. They provide evidence of progress that we must be proud of and be determined to sustain. I will do everything in my power to ensure that the will of the people is respected and I employ you also to do the same for our dear Sierra Leone. Let us put Sierra Leone above all else. And as brothers and sisters, go hand in hand in the pools to make history on the 7th of March 2018. Thank you. God bless you. And God bless the Republic of Sierra Leone.
President of the Republic of Sierra Leone, Dr. Anes Bai Koroma, addressing the nation on the eve of the polls of 7th March 2018. If you hear it on SLBC, it's true. SLBC Freetown, TV Channel 31 and 27, Radio FM 100, SLBC McKinney, 88.0 FM, SLBC Bo, 96.5 FM, SLBC Maboka, 94.0 FM, SLBC Kono, 90.2 FM, SLBC Kailayo, 95.0 FM, and SLBC Kenema, 93.5 FM. We are the broadcasting house of Sierra Leone.